Okay, so this is pretty much going unedited, and there's not really any script to this, but just wanted to make this video because I'm having to put up all of these books as well as a lot of other stuff. So I just thought might as well show off my, uh, for the most part it's manga. There's some other stuff mixed into it, but for the most part this is basically my manga collection. And, uh, I'm not sure how loud the music is. But yeah, it's, it's in three rows. There's pretty much all of these books in the front and then in the middle that's all the way filled up to the top and then there is all the books in the back so it's n this isn't going to be like my um, video game collection where I show off every individual video game because with books if I show off for I don't know I guess for example the first book of Dragon Ball Super What's the point of showing all the other books, you know? So... So, yeah. However, if I only have one book, which a lot of them I only have one book for some, so... It, however, I haven't read all of these books, obviously. It, it's a lot of books. This is definitely a collection, for the most part, I would say. This pretty much 90% five percent of these books have been collected in the matter of um i guess four years so yeah there's going to be plenty of pauses so sorry about that just to be able to show off just each series it took a while to be able to get all of these off the shelf okay so here's the first batch um whoops i forgot that i put <laughs> put all the first books at the bottom this might be a dumb one to start off with but the first one I have is Twilight Princess most of the Zelda manga that they've ever made they only made maybe about one or two books in the series the light is hmm should be fine but yeah what's crazy is that they actually made 11 books which is just Kind of surprises me that they did that. Sorry about that, the light was bothering me a bit. But, yeah. Yeah, I really like this series. I try not to count it because it's a Zelda manga, but they made a good amount of books. They made 11. I'm not done with it, but I'm extremely close. It's probably my second favorite manga series, but I'm a bit biased. I like the Twilight Princess books. I mean, the Trolley Princess story a lot. What's the next one? I think all of these books, I have read the, uh, at least the first book. Next one is Rosario Vampire, which I first saw the show first, and I thought it was really decent, but, you know, I had my things about it. I'm not really the biggest fan of harem-based series. You know, only a few I actually like. I do like the theme, that it's very Halloween-y theme with all of the different creatures like vampires, succubus, uh, wolves, other creatures. However, I read the book, I think, a couple of years ago, and I actually really like the book series a lot more. But one thing that's going to be consistent is I, if I've seen the TV adaptation and read the book, I almost every time like the books more. Mainly just because the artist just has more of a distinct uh, style to it. While with the TV adaptation, usually the animation studios has, you know, does multiple adaptations of series, you know, to dozens of them. So a lot of them can look really similar. I guess a good example is Ayuriyashi, which one of the books is right there. Um, I really like the art style for the most part. and. Um, the manga. However, the anime, which I actually have the DV really close by, right here, um, I, I noticed that the artwork looked kind of familiar, and it's because uh, the animation studio also did Familiar of Zero, which was at the time the only anime that I actually was familiar with, and the art design looks 
very similar to both of them. And because of that, I don't really... I haven't seen the show yet because I'm also just finishing up uh, the manga after so many years. But, you know, it's expected. Sorry if I'm getting sidetracked. Anyways, another book, and this one's kind of more of an obscured one. I've never heard of this one. Is uh, Red River, which I read the first book and I didn't care much for it. I thought it was kind of boring. And because I thought it was boring, I bought several more. <laughs> they actually had almost the whole series, and shockingly, someone actually bought all of them. It was only a month. But that kind of uh, sucks because those books are really expensive now. But at the very least, I'm glad I got the first seven books. They were cheap. I got them for like three bucks. But anyway... Just to boil down, at least with the plot with the first book, it's been years for a lot of them. So, um, I guess it boils down to, I forgot what it's called. I don't know if it's, it's, how do I pronounce it? Isekai, where it's this girl that was in the present world and then somehow got sucked into Egypt. And you know how those things go if you've seen enough of those Another World kind of series. I'm not really a fan of Isekai base series. I think Inuyasha did a good job with it because at least with that series, I like that, you know, the main female character can go back and forth between ancient Japan and her present time. I think that was a good idea because the main problem I have with Isekai is just because I just don't like that you barely see them in the present and then they pretty much just go to like a past setting for the majority of the series getting sidetracked again, sorry. Um, there is this series, X, I, I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know how to say the title, I just call it X1999, and, um, yeah, I read the first book, this is one of those situations where I, I really don't remember the plot, but, uh, you know, it's actually, I don't know how I'm going to be able to show it. I guess I can just show random pages. But, yeah, it's made by Clamp. Or Clump. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering these names and everything. But, yeah. They've made so many series. And I have a lot of their series. They've made X1999. They've made... Um, Card Capture... Captor... Captor Sakura. They've made... Tsubasa, they've made Chobits, Angelic Layer, um, they've they made a lot, they've made a lot, a lot of series, they made Holic, Holic, uh, Legal Drugs, uh, they, they made a lot more, I can keep going on and on, uh, they made Magical Knight Ray Earth, and I have a lot of these books, like Magical Knight Ray Earth is right there. Wow, this video's gonna take a lot longer than I thought. I keep rambling on, sorry about that. I've read the, only the first book of this, Tokyo ESP. I can't really explain too much about this other than, if I remember correctly, the whole plot is that in Tokyo, there are, I think there are like these, like, astral fishes that are flying around, I think, Tokyo Tower. And it seems like, because I think those are supposed to be the fishes, and it seems like whoever touches them almost kind of acts like uh that stand arrow it's not a stand arrow the arrow from part four in jojo where it's like anyone who comes in contact with that basically their almost like inner psyche powers come out it's kind of like that and the books are pretty thick most mangas only are around on average 180 pages 180 to 200 pages, but these are pretty thick books. Um, yeah, I just remember I wasn't really enjoying it too much. But I thought it was decent overall. I think I just had my problems. Like, one minor thing was that they kept acknowledging that the main female character was very poor, and they had to keep acknowledging all the things that she does because she's poor. I don't know why I'm complaining about that. Anyways, uh, all right, I think that's all the batch of books. 
that I grabbed for that side. Yes, this is going to take longer than I thought. Maybe not. All the front books are actually, like, the ones with the most series. Like, there's a lot of individual series in the front, but once I get to the second and third row, it's going to go by a lot faster. Okay, I'm back. I was having to get everything ready. So yeah, a lot of these books, I just don't really have enough time to explain, so I'll just be very brief about it, just to show its existence. Um, so this is Dinosaur King. I didn't know they actually made a manga. I actually watched the anime when I was a kid. I remember it came on four kids, and I remember liking it. Probably wouldn't like it as much now, because I remember it was like the dinosaurs were 3D, and it looked... I remember even back then it didn't look that great. This one's a weird one. Nightmare Before Christmas. The manga. And it's kind of weird to see Tokyo Pop logo. Mainly because a lot of the... I would say before Viz ever became uh, became really big, Tokyo Pop was the main um, uh, English manga publisher. To what I've seen at least, they kind of had a lot of connection to a lot of the manga in the two, early 2000s, mid-2000s. Black God. Don't know why it's called this. Um, I remember reading the first first book. They actually had a lot of the books at the store. I buy these books mostly. But I actually didn't really... I didn't really like this book that much just because I just thought, yeah, again, really sorry that it looks kind of... I can't really show much of it just because I don't really have anything I don't really have anything that can hold my phone which is why this is a very amateurish uh, attempt to do this but yeah I remember not liking it that much mainly just because I just thought it wasn't really interesting to me usually I give books a chance pretty easily but to me it was it wasn't really interesting uh, blood doc I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but fun fact about this, I actually watched the anime back in 2018, and this, the anime, was one of the most traumatizing anime series I ever watched. And um, this was actually, it wasn't made by Clamp, but I think they did the art for this. It was like a collaboration, but... Sorry, uh, okay, I'm really sorry if you keep hearing, like, a, like, a, it's just my nose exhaling air. That's a weird way to describe it. It's just kind of a tick thing. But, yeah, I have read the first book of this, and I do like this series. It's just, let's just say the last couple episodes really traumatized me. And even looking back at it, it still kind of gives me kind of mixed flashbacks. And then, of course, there's Magical Knight Ray Earth, which I read the first book. If there's one thing I would say that's consistent about Clamp is that I would say half of their series isn't really... How do I put it? It's like the plot and characters, at least for the, just the first book. A lot of their series, I've only read the first book. I don't really care. For the characters and plot again at least for the beginning i don't think they really do a great job with making a very enticing um at least for me it doesn't really interest me to continue reading but the main reason is because of the art they are amazing at art and it makes me interested to see more of their art i don't think there's really any series I've read more than one of their books, I think. That's kind of sad to say. Um, Vampire Hunter D. I was mainly interested in this because I remember... I have a thing about wanting to look up some of the strongest fictional characters from time to time. And I look, I wanted to look up who's the strongest fictional vampire character. This character is essentially up there. But what's interesting is that this is actually a light novel. Which means it's that it's mostly text, like a normal novel, but it does have some pictures, hence why it's called a light novel. Um, I got this book recently. I didn't realize this until now, but it's actually the ninth volume. Which, that kind of shocked me. I didn't I didn't know it was 
the ninth book. I only have the first two in that one, but... Exil Saga. This series, I remember... I don't remember how I found the series. I think what happened was... The artist who made this, Rito Koshi, he made the art for Pandora and the Crimson Shell, which I'll get to that later. I actually love Pandora and the Crimson Shell, and when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, he this was like his first major thing, uh, thing he did, and I actually really love it. I think it's really funny, and they actually made an anime, which a lot of these series, they made animes, but it, it's a really funny series, and I can see... Like, some of his humor and elements that he had in Pandora that was in his previous series. Um, sadly, I don't really have a lot of the books of Exil Saga. I only have the first two. never read the second one just because usually what I do when I read books is that I tend to read the first book to see if I'm interested. And if I really like it, I pretty much just buy all the books until... There is no more. Um, I read this book, Vampire Game. I read this a few months ago. I, I really could not tell you the plot. I don't remember it much. I think really the only thing worth remembering is that apparently her, or assumed to be her, and him were actually arch enemies, and they prom they swore that one day after, you know, when they reincarnate, they would pretty much, I guess, settle the score. However, I think the idea was he was reincarnated as this animal and it was said that the person, a part of the bloodline, would reincarnate as, like, I think her, I think. I don't know. I'm not good at describing it, but that's all I remember for the most part. I surprisingly liked it more than I thought, but I don't think I would ever want to continue reading it. What else is there? Not much to say about this one. This is a spinoff of a spin-off of the series Magical Index. That really I can't think of that many series that is a spin-off of a spin-off. But yeah, I have three of the books. I mainly bought them because I didn't even know it existed until I saw it at my bookstore. So I did I buy all of them? I'm not sure if I did. And then I have some of the Trigun books, which I've always wanted to watch the show for years, but I just haven't because there's so many other shows to watch. And because of that, I just keep holding it off. However, I haven't read these books yet. I don't really know much about the series exactly. I don't even know if it started as an anime or if it started as a manga. I actually don't know. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, this series. High School Double D. This is actually one of my only... I don't really have a lot of M-rated books. Weirdly enough, most of my books are rated T to T+. Plus. But... This I actually can't show because they act it actually does show boobs. More than boobs, it actually shows full boobage. <laughs> but... But yeah, I remember I bought this book years ago. This was actually one of the mangas I actually wanted to buy because, I don't know, I just wanted to experiment with manga series at the time. Like, I was planning on wanting to check out Yu Yu Hakusho, Sailor Moon, uh, what was the other series, Tokyo Ghoul, and this was one of the series. And I, I just wanted to, like, experiment reading the book first before watching the anime. And I remember I read this book and I didn't really like it too much. Which is the reason why I only have one. Plus, it's based off a light novel and not the manga. And I don't think the manga was ever finished. But, yeah. Not bad by any means. I'm just not really into those kind of series. Uh, Devil Survivor. Based off the video game. One of my favorite video games. I haven't read the manga. I know there's several of them, but I would love to... I would love to read the book series and play the game again one day. I really love the characters and it's kind of surprising I would like it because I think the best way to describe it is that it's kind of like a tactical RPG slash visual novel a little bit. It definitely has some visual novel elements, which I don't really like visual novels because 
mainly because if I'm going to play a video game, I kind of want to have a lot of interacting to do in terms of moving my character and kind of exploring or stuff like that. So to be limited with having to read mostly dialogue and just mainly pressing a button to continue, I kind of rather just read a book or watch a show instead. But again, it doesn't mean the stories aren't great. That's not the case at all. It's just it's just a video game thing. Uh, what else is there? I'm sorry if you might hear some, like, It's just, I'm not really sure exactly where the mic is to this, and I might be rough with it. Oh, no. Uh, Queen's Knight. This is actually one of my least favorite mangas I read. I have the first two books, but I remember after I finished the first book, I immediately didn't like it. Why didn't I like it? I don't remember too clearly. I just remembered I didn't really like the person's artwork that much. I didn't really like the person's artwork that much, and I can't remember, I just didn't really like how they were pacing the story, or how they were executing it. That's all. What else is there? Uh, there's Toradora, which I'm actually watching the anime right now, and I read this book first just to try it out, and I actually overall liked the book, and I was worried about watching the anime because... I thought it wasn't going to be that good, but surprisingly, it's actually good. Full Metal Panic Overload. I actually love the Full Metal Panic series. I actually really want to get into the light novels, which is the original series. I've never read this series before. There's a lot of different adaptations to it. It's definitely one of those series that, it, you know, it's based off a light novel, and there's just so many different adaptations. There's the manga adaptation... There is the um, anime adaptation. There's this almost like a... I don't know. It's kind of similar to what they did with stuff like Naruto, Rock League Adventures, or like Attack on Titan Jr. High kind of thing. It's kind of like that a little bit. Um, this, and this book, I've actually had this book for a very long time. This is one of my oldest books from 2019. Uh, we Never Learn... This series never really was talked about, even though it's actually a Shonen Jump book, which most Shonen Jump books I always see published, people at least talk about it somewhat, but I've seen all of the anime, but I do have the first book, and I remember really liking it. I really like the artwork for the cover, too. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the character designs, or maybe it's just how it looks. I don't know. I think it looks... I like it. And then here's the last one for this row. Whoops, and it all collapsed. Uh, Chibi Vampire, which I'm still upset about this. A lot of these book series, they actually, my bookstore had a lot of these books, and I just, I can only afford to spend so much money a month going there, and I was only able to get the first eight, and they had more than that. But I, I did read the first book, and I just remember that the main character is a vampire, and she just... I think they even went as far to say that she gets aroused by blood. I don't remember. But the funny thing is that she has these things where if she goes too long without drinking blood, um, she gets, like, severe nosebleeds. And what's funny is that at the end of the book, the person basically, the original idea was to make her uh, squirt a bunch of blood out of her nose, but his editor was like, I don't know, that looks kind of gross. And then he was like, okay, I'll just lighten the blood severely. And, uh, sorry if I spoiled that, and the pers the editor looked at it and then went back to him and said, hey, um, can you go, can you just change it back to what you were originally doing, you know, with all the blood and stuff? And he was like, yeah, it's like I knew he would say that. It's actually surprisingly a good series, at least to the first book I read. It's funny. Alright, on to the next batch. Actually, this video has gone long enough as it is, so um, next time I will move over to the next couple of rows. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, but I will endure. <laughs> Alright, bye. I, I, I said bye.